Hi everyone, it's Red Herring, and please don't mind the stupid tan. This is an, kind of an unboxing of the Iris Cup that I received last week. I um, purchased my Iris Cups on Amazon, and it was just under $17 for one, or uh, just under $23 for two cups. So I got the two cups, and it was a... Um, small and large set and this cup um, is said to be out of Spain um, and I'll kind of touch bases on that after but um, because it is an international thing it did get shipped out of Kentucky again um, so uh, like I said I had already actually unboxed it all so I'm just gonna uh, bring the boxes up and they are the same except for one has an S for small um, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do a turnaround of this cup and you can pause it if you need to um, so I was saying that this cup comes out of Spain and here is their website site I'll go ahead and leave all of that information in the description below if you want to access it uh, some folding Here's another of their websites. Um, so out of Spain, but here you will see it's made in Korea. Uh, here it says they are FDA medical, uh, have a medical registration, but I didn't check with the FDA um, list. So if you, um, feel the need to do that you can and uh, so I purchased the I can I don't even know where they are hold on <laughs> okay I couldn't find this small for a minute there it was still stuck inside of the um, that package that I was holding up so the two cups did come in separate boxes and they have a pamphlet I'm not going to really open this whole thing up but it does come in different languages and uh, here's the pouch that this comes in for size reference it's quite small it does have their name on both sides <clears throat> but both of the cups uh, did come with their own bag sorry I have a table here that all my stuff is on today so um, here are the two different sizes and now they're picking up a whole bunch of lint and the small is quite a bit smaller than the large and in fact I can insert the small let me bring you up closer insert the small into the large and there's still some room you can see the silhouette of the small inside with the stem kind of crooked over so when I first opened this, the first thing that I noticed was that there was a smell. There's a plasticky smell, kind of smells like a dollar store Barbie doll. I'm sorry, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Or maybe the hair of a Barbie doll. It just still has that plastic smell to it. So um, it, it kind of put me off. Um, another thing that I noticed right off the bat when I took them out of their packages was that there is something on here like an oil or something uh, my friend Jennifer did say that or suggest that maybe it's the um, whatever they put on the mold so that it could pop out easier and they don't just they don't clean it off before sending it um, but I can I can feel it on my fingertips when I um, run them over the cup and then I uh, do like this uh, my fingers feel a little bit slick not that you can see anything on my fingers um, but it just has a different feeling after I rub them against the silicone so that was another thing that put me off this cup really reminds me of the lady cup um, it does have a couple different features to it uh, but the holes are placed the same. It's the only um, cup that I know of the holes that are like this. Um, and my stem is gone. I do have another one. I have a yellow one, but my daughter um, 
really liked the lady cup so she kept it and that's why I ended up buying a blue one uh, for myself but uh, the, the iris cup does have these uh, I I would imagine that they're like a secondary rim um, or maybe also act as grip rings for when you're holding it um, so I'll just go ahead and start off with the stem uh, this stem is a hollow stem first of all and it's nice and flimsy and nice a good stretch to it there's a resistance right about there but if you notice that uh, when I pull this silicone it turns white and I'll hopefully be able to show you that on camera so let me put my hand up here so here it is and then when I pull it you can't see through it and it turns white I've never had silicone um, or a silicone cup that does that. There are four grip rings on this cup and they're not really uniform if you see them closely. Uh, this ring and this ring are larger than the two on the bottom but on the small cup all of the rings seem to be pretty uniform. Um, but the grip rings don't really lend any grip to it because when I stretch this they kind of just give way into the silicone and my fingers just slide right over them they don't really stop so um, if you're trying to use this stem it might be a little bit difficult for you they did leave a little bit of meat between the stem and the uh, bowl of the cup so you can cut the stem away if you need to I'm trying to get a good shot of that um, the the seam is kind of shallow so you want to be sure to probably cut just right underneath that um, last grip ring there so you don't cut into the cup itself there are no grip rings around the bottom of the stem like most of the other cups have um, and even the lady cup um, has these little grip dots to it uh, and the iris cup doesn't have any of that. The bottom of the bowl of this cup is really really soft um, and when you get to these rings right around the cup it does get a little bit more firm so there is um, a secondary rim also you can kind of feel that the thickness uh, of the silicone is gradual when you get around those grip rings so it is a thicker silicone right underneath this rim uh, than it is down at the bottom of the bowl there are six suction release holes or air holes on this cup and they are staggered as you can see um, they go in an up and down chevron pattern just like the lady cup does uh, the higher um, it, it does go in a diagonal or it travels in a diagonal direction so the highest point is on the inside of the cup and then um, comes down and you can see the travel direction right there of where the hole is uh, punched through or molded through there is a seam that runs around the outside of the entire rim and you can see it right there um, and it's some areas have more silicone pieces that are sticking out than other areas of the rim or that seam on the rim because the silicone is so soft um, I can barely feel it beneath my fingertips but it does kind of shift back and forth underneath them some of the air holes aren't totally clean and I don't know if you're going to be able to see um, some of those bits of silicone because they're so light pink but um, let me see they're all punched through they're just not uh, they're not cleanly done all the time so uh, here is a piece of silicone right there you can see it sticking off 
And some of the other holes are like that. I just can't really get a good shot of them. My cups have some pitting on it, and I'm going to have to turn so that you can see them a little bit. So here is the air hole, and here is the pitting. And the pitting is on almost every single one of these holes. And um, at least on this cup, they did end up brushing it, and it's a smooth area. There's some shine to it. Um, I did <clears throat> talk about my Anytime cup. It had some pitting on it, and they didn't brush it away, so like the inside of the silicone was exposed. And this is uh, not the case with this cup. But they are there. I don't know if you're worried about it, but I will point that out. Um, let me check my small. So it is um, also on my small cup. There are no markings on this cup. Um, there's no measurement lines or anything on the inside. It looks like I have a couple scuff marks and you can probably see it best on my small cup. And <clears throat> it is right here in that... Um, glare not anymore where'd it go it's right there you can see it's a little bit of a different color I wonder if I put my finger behind if you can see it better right there anyhow um, it kind of looks like that part didn't get uh, like brushed away very good like the finish wasn't as nice on that little area um, there's a couple of other areas on this cup, but you probably can't see it very well on camera because that one little area is, is kind of hard to see too. Oh, there it is. Right there. So I do want to mention that if you are looking for really good quality, um, that might be something that would you know, make you want to pass this cup up. So those were my first thoughts and my unboxing, I guess, if you will, um, about the Iris Cup. I am bleeding right now, but uh, I'm kind of getting toward the tail end of my period, um, and I haven't washed or boiled these cups yet, so I don't think I'm going to be able to try them during this period. It would kind of not be a very good read on them. Um, just because my uh, flow is a little bit lighter. I guess I could go ahead and try the small. Um, so I'll go ahead and clean these up and hopefully get to use this small one, uh, give it a try. But I'm kind of, I don't know. I, I already have like this preconceived notion of these cups just from the smell and from the uh, feeling of them, the, that oily uh, feeling. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of worried. Um, so I will wash them, see if they feel different, uh, boil them, see if I still notice a smell to it, and I'll just listen to my body and uh, if there's anything odd, uh, then I'll go ahead and remove it. But for now, I, I'm not totally happy with these cups. Um, I have some knockoffs or some China, che China cheapies that I'm uh, more happy about uh, than these cups. So what do you think that film is? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but I will update you when I do actually use this cup and and give it a try. Um, you can also, I'm, I'm trying to do some write-ups for people that don't want to listen to me carry on uh, talking, but I'll uh, try to update it there on my Krabby Patties page. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I have for now about these cups. So until I see you next time, take care.